Welcome. In this video, we'll walk through version 2, or V2, of the updated benchmark estimation calculator that's applicable to Medicare Shared Savings Program's ACOs with an agreement period beginning on or after July 1, 2019. There are four calculators available for download from the ACO MS Knowledge Library. They can be found under the Program Resources section by searching Updated Benchmark Estimation Tool in the Filter by Title field. The calculator with the file name Calc Using Blended Update Factor V2.xlsx applies a blended national and regional update factor and is applicable to ACOs in an agreement period beginning on or after July 1, 2019. This calculator uses quarterly, national, and regional weights calculated for the ACO. These quarterly regional weights were added to the quarterly aggregate expenditure and utilization reports beginning in quarter one of performance year 2020. This is the calculator we will walk through today. The calculator with the file name Calc Using Blended Update Factor V1.xlsx also applies a blended national and regional update factor and is applicable to ACOs in an agreement period beginning on July 1, 2019. This version of the calculator uses national and regional weights for the ACO for benchmark year 3, which are found in Table 2 of the Historical Benchmark Reports. This calculator should be used by ACOs with an agreement period beginning on July 1, 2019, and used with Performance Year 2019A, Quarter 3, and Quarter 4 reports. The calculator with the file name Calc Using Regional Update Factor .xlsx applies a regional expenditure update factor and is applicable to ACOs in a second agreement period beginning on January 1, 2017, 2018, or 2019. The video tutorial of this calculator can be viewed at this link, which can also be accessed on the Program Resources section of the ACO MS Knowledge Library by searching Updated Benchmark Estimation Tool in the Filter by Title field. The calculator with the file name Calc Using National Update Factor .xlsx applies a national expenditure update factor and is applicable to ACOs in a first agreement period beginning on January 1, 2018 or earlier, as well as ACOs in a second agreement period beginning on January 1, 2016. The October 12, 2017 webinar titled Quarterly Trends in ACO Financial Performance in 2017 Quarter 2 provided an overview of the first calculator that applies a national expenditure update factor. This webinar is available on the Webinars section of the ACO MS Knowledge Library and can be found by searching Quarterly Trends in ACO Financial Performance in 2017 Quarter 2 in the Filter by Title field. Overall, the Updated Benchmark Estimation Calculator compares an ACO's historical benchmark and performance year expenditures by estimating the ACO's updated historical benchmark. It then compares the updated benchmark to the ACO's latest quarterly expenditures, which serve as a point of comparison for the ACO. Now, let's go into the Calc Using Blended Update Factor V2 workbook. The Calc Using Blended Update Factor V2 workbook, or the Calculation Workbook, has multiple sheets which are shown on the Table of Contents tab. These sheets include the updated benchmark estimation calculator, an example of the calculator filled in with hypothetical data, an example benchmark year 3 aggregate expenditure and utilization report table 1, an example historical benchmark report table 1, an example quarterly aggregate expenditure and utilization report table 1 and table 2, and a table showing the minimum savings rate by number of assigned beneficiaries. Now let's click the third tab in the workbook to take a look at the updated benchmark estimation calculator. A description at the top of the calculator discusses the cohorts of ACOs for which this calculator is applicable. It summarizes the steps involved in calculating the updated benchmark and the savings percentage, which are the main numeric outputs of this calculator. Please note that these numeric outputs are only estimates and may not reflect final results. The description also discusses some limitations of the calculator, which will be discussed later in this video. Under General Instructions, we can see that to use the calculator, we'll need to have three reports available. The ACO's Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report for Benchmark Year 3, 
the ACO's most recent historical benchmark report, and a quarterly aggregate expenditure and utilization report from 2020 quarter one or later for the ACO. Instructions for entering values into the calculator are found here. To use the calculator, we'll enter specified values in the shaded cells of the table that are marked Enter Value. Values in non-shaded cells, marked TBD, will be calculated automatically. All the data for the shaded cells can be found on the ACO's Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report for Benchmark Year 3, the ACO's Historical Benchmark Report, and the ACO's Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report beginning with 2020 Quarter 1. Note that the calculations presented in this table are performed separately for the four Medicare enrollment types. Beneficiaries with end-stage renal disease, or ESRD, some of whom may be under age 65. Disabled beneficiaries, these are non-ESRD beneficiaries under the age of 65 entitled to Medicare by disability. Aged dual beneficiaries, these are non-ESRD beneficiaries ages 65 or over who are duly eligible for Medicare and Medicaid. And finally, aged non-dual beneficiaries. These are non-ESRD Medicare beneficiaries ages 65 or over who are not duly eligible for Medicaid. Clicking the tab to the right of the calculator tab opens an example of the calculator filled in with hypothetical data for an ACO. The hypothetical data seen in the shaded cells in this sheet come directly from the example Table 1 of the Benchmark Year 3 Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report, the example Table 1 of the Benchmark Report, and the example Tables 1 and 2 of the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report included in this workbook. Let's move back to the calculator to demonstrate the process of entering data and how those inputs affect the subsequent calculations. We'll use the hypothetical data from the example report tables included in this workbook. Starting with Section A of the calculator, we'll enter values for the National Assignable Fee-for-Service Expenditures for Benchmark Year 3 for each of the four Medicare enrollment types. These values can be found in the Benchmark Year 3 Aggregate Expenditures and Utilization Report Table 1. The National Assignable Fee-for-Service column represents measures calculated over the 12-month National Assignable Fee-for-Service Report period for all assignable beneficiaries who are alive at the beginning of the period, residing in the United States, and having at least one month during the period enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B, and not enrolled in a Medicare health plan. National Assignable Fee-for-Service Expenditures exclude indirect medical education, disproportionate share hospital, uncompensated care, and pass-through payments, but include final non-claims-based payments. Expenditures on claims incurred after April 2013 are adjusted to include amount withheld for sequestration, for example, 2% of paid amount. Expenditures are annualized and truncated separately by Medicare enrollment type at the 99th percentile of National Assignable Fee-for-Service Expenditures for that enrollment type. The National Assignable Fee-for-Service population may include beneficiaries who would not have been eligible for prospective assignment to any ACO under prospective assignment because they did not meet eligibility criteria during the prospective claims-based beneficiary assignment window, including beneficiaries who first became eligible for Medicare after the assignment window. National assignable fee-for-service expenditures in this report differ slightly from the data used by CMS Office of the Actuary to calculate the national factors used to establish and update the ACO's historical benchmark. For example, CMS Office of the Actuary uses expenditures that are not truncated. Also, it's important to note that the values provided in the quarterly reports are not risk-adjusted. From Table 1 of the ACO's Benchmark Year 3 Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report, we'll select and copy cells D19 to D22 and then navigate to the calculator. Right-clicking the mouse, we can click Paste Special, then Values to paste the values in cells B11 to B14. Next, we'll use the National Assignable Fee-for-Service Expenditures from the ACO's Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Quarterly Report, these values can be found in Table 1 of the report. In Section B of the calculator, we'll enter values for the National Assignable Fee-for-Service Expenditures for the latest quarter for each of the four Medicare enrollment types. 
This example table represents Table 1 of a Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure Utilization Report for an ACO receiving preliminary prospective assignment. There is a single data column for the National Assignable Fee-for-Service Population, which appears in column D. For ACOs receiving prospective assignment, Table 1 of the Quarterly Report will include two columns with national data. For these ACOs, it's important to use data from column D which is the first of the two columns, and is labeled National Assignable Fee-for-Service 12-Month. For purposes of this estimation tool, ACOs receiving prospective assignment should not use data from the second of the two national columns, column E, labeled National Assignable Fee-for-Service Year-to-Date. On the sample Quarterly Aggregate Expenditures and Utilization Report Table 1 tab, We'll select and copy cells D19 to D22 and then navigate to the calculator to paste the values in cells B16 to B19. We can see that section C has automatically calculated. The values under section C represent the ACO's projected national expenditure update factor, which is the value from section B divided by the related value from section A for each of the Medicare enrollment types. In this example, an update factor of 1.050 for the aged non-dual population means there was a 5% growth in national expenditures between benchmark year 3 and the report quarter. In section D of the calculator, We'll enter values for the regional expenditures for benchmark year 3 for each of the four Medicare enrollment types. These values can be found in the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditures and Utilization Report Table 2. These values represent the weighted average of county-level fee-for-service expenditures, with weights reflecting the proportion of the ACO's assigned beneficiary person years residing in each county for that enrollment type in that year. County-level fee-for-service expenditures for each enrollment type are based on total parts A and B fee-for-service expenditures for assignable beneficiaries residing in the county, excluding indirect medical education, disproportionate share hospital, and uncompensated care payments, but including final beneficiary identifiable payments made under a demonstration, pilot, or time-limited program. The expenditure values in this table are not risk-adjusted. Benchmark Year 3 values are based on the calendar year most recently preceding the start of the ACO's current agreement period. Again, these values can be found in the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditures and Utilization Report, Table 2. On the table, we'll select and copy cells B10 to B13 and then navigate to the calculator. We'll paste the values in cells B26 to B29. Next, we'll use the regional expenditures for the latest quarter available from the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditures and Utilization Report, Table 2. In this example, the latest quarter is Quarter 1. The quarterly values are based on the relevant 12-month National Assignable Fee-for-Service Report period for that quarterly report. These values are also not risk-adjusted. Let's copy them and enter them in Section E of the calculator, cells B31 to B34. We can see that Section F has automatically calculated. The values under Section F represent the ACO's Regional Expenditure Update Factor, which is the value from Section E divided by the related value from Section D for each of the Medicare enrollment types. In this example, an update factor of 1.023 for the aged non-dual population means there was a 2.3% growth in regional expenditures between benchmark year 3 and the report quarter. The next step is to enter values in Section G. Section G requires the national weight for the latest quarter from the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report, Table 2. On the table, we'll select and copy cells C15 to C18 and then navigate to the calculator. We'll paste the values in cells B41 to B44. For Section H, We'll use the regional weight for the latest quarter from the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report, Table 2. On the table, we'll select and copy cells C20 to C23, and then navigate to the calculator to paste the data into cells B46 to B49.
we can see that section I has automatically calculated. The values under section I represent the ACO's projected national regional blended update factor, which is the national update factor multiplied by the national weight, plus the regional update factor multiplied by the regional weight. The next step is to enter values in section J. Section J requires the regionally adjusted historical benchmark expenditures for the ACO, which are available in Table 1 of the ACO's most recent historical benchmark report. The values needed are at the bottom of this table. Scroll to the bottom of the table to Section R and copy the numbers for ESRD, Disabled, Aged Dual, and Aged Non-Dual. Then, paste the values into the respective lines in Section J of the calculator, cells B56 to B59. Once the ACO's regionally adjusted historical benchmark expenditures are entered, Section K will calculate. Section K represents the ACO's projected updated benchmark expenditures for each Medicare enrollment type, calculated by taking the ACO's regionally adjusted historical benchmark expenditures from Section J and multiplying them by the projected national regional blended expenditure update factors calculated in Section I. The next steps in the calculator involve weighting the updated benchmark expenditures by person years for each Medicare enrollment type. For Section L, we'll enter the total person years and the person years for the four Medicare enrollment types from the latest quarter's data. We can find this information in Table 1 of the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report. For this exercise, We'll want to use the five values shown in B12 to B16 for the total person years of assigned beneficiaries in the ACO and the person years by the four Medicare types for assigned beneficiaries in the ACO, and then navigate to the calculator to paste these values into cells B66 to B70. Section M then automatically calculates the enrollment proportions by dividing the person years from each Medicare enrollment type by the total person years. You'll notice that the enrollment proportions for the Medicare enrollment types sum to 1.0. Row N will automatically calculate by multiplying Section K by Section M for each enrollment type and then taking the sum. Row N represents an estimated value of the ACO's mean updated benchmark without risk adjustment. Now that we have an updated benchmark, we want the calculator to compare it to the ACO's performance year expenditures. In row O, we see that the latest quarterly expenditures can serve as a point of comparison for what the ACO's performance year expenditures may be. We get this value from the ACO's latest quarterly aggregate expenditure and utilization report, Table 1, cell B18. We'll paste this value into cell B77 of the calculator. Once entered, row P automatically calculates the ACO's projected shared savings percentage, which is the difference between the updated benchmark and the performance year expenditures, in this case, the quarterly expenditures, divided by the updated benchmark. This ACO's savings percentage is 6.52%, meaning this ACO's quarterly expenditures are 6.52% lower than its projected updated benchmark. We'll need to get one more data value from the reports. Row Q of the calculator asks for the ACO's number of assigned beneficiaries. We'll use the value from the Quarterly Aggregate Expenditure and Utilization Report Table 1, cell B10. We'll paste this value into cell B79 of the calculator. Finally, we need to enter a value for the ACO's minimum savings rate in row R. All one-sided model ACOs and two-sided model ACOs that selected a variable minimum savings rate should type in the word variable in this cell. Here's an example. The estimated minimum savings rate will automatically calculate in row S. It uses the ACO's number of assigned beneficiaries from row Q to look up the minimum savings rate value from the last table in this workbook. Two-sided model ACOs with a fixed minimum savings rate will enter the applicable minimum savings rate along with the percentage sign. If the ACO has at least 5,000 assigned beneficiaries for the quarter, this fixed value will automatically appear again in row S. 
Here's an example. If a two-sided model ACO with a fixed minimum savings rate has fewer than 5,000 assigned beneficiaries for the quarter, the value in row S will be calculated based on the number of assigned beneficiaries as described in the lookup table in the last table in the workbook and further described in section 425.110 of the program regulations. The values for rows T and U of the calculator then automatically calculate. Row T compares the quarterly expenditures with the updated benchmark and tells us whether the quarterly expenditures were above or below the updated benchmark. Row U compares the ACO's savings percentage of 6.52% to the ACO's minimum savings rate, which in this example is 2%. The cell shows us that the ACO's savings percentage is positive and above the ACO's minimum savings rate. Please note that there are some limitations to this calculator. First, it does not incorporate the CMS HCC risk adjustment used in Shared Savings Program Financial Reconciliation. Second, it's based on partial year and or incomplete claims runout data. Third, it uses the national and regional weights calculated for the ACO for each quarter, which may differ from those calculated for the ACO for the performance year. And fourth, for ACOs with prospective assignment, the ACO's quarterly expenditures used in this calculator are measured on a year-to-date basis, which may show greater variability from the ACO's ultimate performance year expenditures and may be less comparable to the quarterly regional expenditures used to estimate the update factor, which are measured on a rolling 12-month basis. It's important to note that an ACO's financial reconciliation results may differ from those estimated by this calculator. As a reminder, there are four calculators available for download from the ACO MS Knowledge Library. They can be found under the Program Resources section by searching Updated Benchmark Estimation Tool in the Filter by Title field. The calculator we walked through today is named Calc Using Blended Update Factor V2.xlsx. This calculator is applicable to Medicare Shared Savings Program ACOs with an agreement period beginning on or after July 1, 2019, and uses a blended national regional update factor. The V2 calculator uses quarterly national and regional weights calculated for the ACO. The calculator named Calc Using Blended Update Factor V1.xlsx also applies a blended national and regional update factor and is applicable to ACOs in an agreement period beginning on July 1, 2019. The V1 calculator uses national and regional weights for the ACO for benchmark year 3. The calculator named Calc Using Regional Update Factor.xlsx applies a regional expenditure update factor and is applicable to ACOs in a second agreement period beginning on January 1, 2017, 2018, or 2019. The calculator named Calc Using National Update Factor.xlsx applies a national expenditure update factor and is applicable to ACOs in a first agreement period beginning on January 1, 2018 or earlier, as well as ACOs in a second agreement period beginning on January 1, 2016. Thank you for joining us in this video walkthrough of the updated benchmark estimation calculator for ACOs with an agreement period beginning on or after July 1, 2019. For any questions, please contact the Shared Savings Program at sharedsavingsprogram at cms.hhs.gov.